are watching Tech Talk in affiliation with Tech for Techs. We're a community that supports independent trade with the help of vendors and distributors. We're live every Thursday at 8 p.m. London time and we'll be streaming to Facebook and YouTube, Twitter and Twitch. You can listen to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Google, TuneIn and many more. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, and your host, Philip Griffiths. Well, hello everyone, and welcome for to. Did I start again? Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech for Tech Tech Talk. This is a live show where anything can happen, including me forgetting my lines. Right today, we have got Corey from Target Components, and this episode is a about building for your success. He'll uh, obviously fill you in with a little bit more information in a few minutes. Um, but if you can hear us and you can see us, please comment below or the side or wherever it is and however you're watching, just to let us know where you are, where you're from, if you can see us and hear us. So I can see a few uh, comments coming in from Facebook user. Hello, we can see you in Ireland. Is that Cormac by any chance? And we've also got Kunel from Ireland. LGS as well watching and we can we've got someone else called Facebook users saying we can hear you loud and clear now before I let Corey take over and let me introduce yourself what I would suggest is you listen to this show about what he's actually going to tell you about because this tool or one of the tools what he'll probably be talking about has made me or my business which is me uh, a lot of money in the past so it changed how my business operated because i was able to offer services and upsell and do things a lot quicker than uh, i did before so i do suggest you do listen to everything he has to de- uh, has to say and even if you're on the fence just try it out, play about with it, and I'm pretty sure you'll uh, enjoy it. So, right, so let's just quickly go to chat. So, yes, it's Cormac. Hi, Cormac. We've also got Nicole, or Nicola, sorry. Uh, good evening. Uh, oh, it's your own staff um, watching, Corey. <laughs> um, so that, that one doesn't count. Um, we've also got Mark Dennis saying good evening all, and we've got Rich and Haley also from Phase 4. Again, I've just put a link in chat. I'll also put it on the screen if you want to type it in for any reason. It's not showing in your chat. If you type in the address, which is chat.restream.io forward slash FB, it'll allow your name to be shown in the chat, which I'm actually going to turn on the side now so we can actually see it. So, right, Corey, down to you. If you want to introduce yourself, tell everyone who you are, what you do, and who's this target um, components place as well. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm not quite sure I can follow up on that introduction. Um, <laughs> uh, my name's Corey. Uh, I work for Target Components. Uh, we are, uh, I would like to believe we are the uh, number one choice of component uh, distribution in the UK. Um, we like to think we, we help the most more than any others, but uh, we'll leave you to decide that. Um, and I'm here today to uh, show you the uh, the PC builder that we've created. Um, it's a couple of years old now, uh, but I want to go through how it helps, as Phil said, um, and it, Phil isn't the only one that's so, said this to us. Um, it genuinely does change the way people do business. Um, we have uh, studies in regards to this, in regards to where you can show almost a 30% increase in spend from customers using the custom builder as to not using a custom builder. Um, and hopefully it will uh, change the way you can do business, increase your profit share, increase your profits in your shop. Uh, and I'd also like to go through a couple of changes because we don't just uh, stand still. We try to make sure that we're improving our services at all times, um, not only with just adding more brands to it, adding more products to it, but changing the way that we operate, changing the way we uh, the services we offer, which is generally based on the feedback we get from uh, you guys and uh, all the people that are using it. Okay, that sounds pretty good. How do you want to start this off? Do you want to start off with your presentation first and then go on to a Q&A? Uh, yeah, let's do the presentation. Let's get the uh, the slide bit out of the way, which people find the most boring, but we have to do it anyway. We have to do it. Just before <laughs> we do that, again, guys, if you are watching, especially on Facebook, make sure you click that link I've put in the chat. I'll stick it in again, and it'll allow your... 
uh, name to be shown. So there we go. Otherwise, you'll be known as Facebook user, and you'll have to type your name in every single time um, so I know who you actually are. So hopefully uh, that should work. I'm going to actually star that. That's a new feature they've actually put on there. I don't know if that works or does anything, but we'll soon find out. But, yeah, so make sure you type in chat.restream.io for slash FB and it will allow your name to be shown once you agree. So, right, so let's turn on this presentation. I'm going to turn off the side chat, guys, but if you do want to comment, feel free to carry on comments. I'll bring them up afterwards after the presentation. We're just doing this so uh, it takes up the full screen and you can see exactly what's going off. So, there we go. There we go, Corey, all down to you now. Okay, so. Uh... As you can say, Target Components, which is also Service Plus, is part of Target. So we can uh, not only supply you with um, components such as motherboards, etc. We also have a server division, which can provide multiple servers, uh, not just rack mounts, but desktops as well. Um, I myself started there about 12, 13 years ago. Um, and about seven years ago, we decided that we wanted to do a custom PC builder. Um, but as with Target, we just never really want to find uh, or, or follow the same way that other people do this. So uh, it was my task to create something from scratch, which was the, the basis of what we went with. Um, and we went from there. So I'll just go through the slides. Uh, I'll try not to keep them too long. So the whole point of this is we're going to introduce you to the services we offer. Uh, which are, we've named this building for your success. So this is us building PCs so that you are more successful. This frees up your time to then do other things, repairs, uh, installations, anything that you want that will make you more money because you will be saving time as we are doing the builds for you. So I'll go through the solutions that we offer at the start. So we have an off-the-shelf package. We have our own target pre builds that are already available on the shelf, ready to go. They will be shipped that day uh, for delivery for you tomorrow. And we have a range of about 20 to 25 builds available. And that covers everything from NUCs, CAD machines, small form factors, office builds, home, uh, into gaming as well. We then offer you a custom PC builder and an in-store PC builder. And I'll show you the difference of those as we go through the slides. And we also offer um, a way to help you win contracts. Uh, we are currently providing builds for HS2, uh, among uh, a couple of other things. Uh, we're building for quite a few other companies. Um, so if you want to win a tender or you, you're going for a tender for a school, um, a college, a business, anything like that, let us know. Let us help you win that contract. We will help you quote uh, and we will work out the way that because not all companies schools will want to take the stock straight away so we'll work out a way where we can build the machines for you and have them shipped to the school when the school's open or when the school's shut during the uh, the holidays so it's something that we offer to all our customers so why target builds um well quite simply because every single build we do we build to a, a specification or, or the time and love is taken into that build. Uh, and we believe that we, we are not unique in this, but we believe we are probably one of the best builders out there. Um, the guys that build, we have a build room with the guys in there. The guys that build do this as a passion. This isn't a job to them. This isn't coming in and doing a nine to five. They are so passionate about what they do. They build every machine to the specification as if they were building their own. If a case comes in with a dint or a scratch, it's kicked out. We replace that. If there's anything wrong, if we get memory failure, we don't try and fix it. It's just out the room. We'll send it back to wherever, and we put some new memory in it and test it again. Just to uh, just to prove how nerdy some of our, our staff are, our lead builder uh, currently holds five of the top 50 spots in the 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overclocking. So that's how serious the guys are in regards to these builds. Uh, just a couple of key points. So every single build is hand built in the UK. The quality and the cabling on these are unrivaled. And we've been told this many, many a time. And I'm sure Phil will uh, agree because uh, 
Jen is uh, a, a very much a, a proactive one for this. Um, all the builds, everything that we put into the builder is fully tested by us before it's even put in as an option. The builds all come with a three year warranty that we do them as OEM. So they're unbranded. So we ship them out with no branding on it whatsoever. So you can put your own one brand on. However, if you want to do contract work and you want us to brand your PCs for you, we're quite happy to put labels on, stickers on, little logos for you. That's fine. We sell everything at the, as low as we can. So we aren't here to gouge the market. We aren't here to try and make a lot of money. We know that we need to be very, very price competitive in regards to these so that you can make your money. Um, if there is a problem with these, you get a single point of contact. This isn't like a, a multinational where you have to log onto a website to get a telephone number to ring that number to go through a phone system that says press one for this and press two for that and press six for this only to get cut off 20 minutes in and then have to fill a form out in the website. One phone call and we'll sort everything out. Every build is does not leave us until it's tested fully and you will receive a printed test sheet which is provided which shows you all the components in there and everything that it's passed. If we put on uh, the operating system, there is no bloatware. We do not put any other software on other than a basic Windows install. The Windows, when it leaves us, is up to date as of the start of this month. And I believe as of yesterday, we started doing the H2 version of Windows, the new one. Um, and not only that, but we're trusted by the manufacturers. So we are authorized builders for the likes of AMD, Intel, uh, Antec, Cooler Master, Gigabyte, uh, and, and a couple of others. <laughs> so we are trusted by the manufacturers to build not only on their behalf, but also build for them. And we do build quite a lot of machines for the manufacturers. Um, just some of the uh, businesses that we have built for just so you can get an idea of the type of things we do police and fire radio stations which obviously have to be silent ministry of defense and that's tower units and racks mount servers facial recognition systems um automobile i believe was honda point of sale materials uh I, something i'd not come across a video dj a vg dj which is used for lightning lighting rigs uh render farms for games programmers uh, that's over in Huddersfield and show PCs for the likes of Intel and AMD. So I'd like to go through the uh, the custom builder and why ours, we believe, is better than everybody else's. So, again, why should you use the target one over anyone else? I mean, there's, there's plenty out there. Quick search on Google will bring back hundreds of different options. But they all suffer from the same issue they all look and function the same. It doesn't make, they might reskin the site, but every single one looks identical to the next one when you get down to it. Um, the, and the worst thing is none of these builders make you look like a professional. So as you can see, we have a professional image there. You must have found that somewhere strange. because uh, <laughs> No idea. <laughs> um, and every single person wants something different. Schools want something different to home users. Home users want something get different for gamers. And gamers want something different for professionals. No one size fits all. Everybody wants something different. And even in that situation, sometimes they need card readers additional or they need some extra uh, network ports at the back. So what makes ours different? Why isn't ours the same as everybody else's? Well, when you go on to all the competitors, they are limited options. You start with a build and then you can change certain components in that build. And it sort of ends up, if anyone's been onto Dell's website, it's just a production line. You can change a, a CPU or you can change some memory, but you can only change maybe the amount of memory, not the brands or the speeds. And not all rules are black and white. We all know that BIOS changes will make a world of difference to a, to a PC. What does and doesn't work. So we wanted to make something truly unique and we wanted to make it so that you guys can sell something truly unique as all the resellers that we deal with are unique. So what we have in our custom builder is there are more compatibility checks than any other custom PC builder in the world. 
Uh, you can start with the basic checks. So we will check socket types. Does this fit with this? Which most people will do. Uh, we will give you genuine reasons why some items won't go together. We won't remove the item. We won't stop you selecting it. We will show you why you can't select it. And then you and your customer can make an educated decision as to whether you want to change the component that's stopping you select that item. No other custom builder works or has an airflow in it. Especially with the new releases coming out with AM5 and the Intel 12th gen and 13th gen, some of these processes can run up to 300 watts. And the heat these things generate is absolutely immense. And no 240 mil cooler is going to keep these things cool unless you can get the air in and out of that case. And we've seen so many times where people pick a essentially a closed case with no airflow in it and think you can put an i7 k series in there and overclock it it's just going to thermal throttle which means your customer isn't getting what they paid for or it's going to shut down because it gets too hot and as we are building for your business we don't want your end user coming back and saying this isn't working properly uh, we also have helpful information available on there. We will tell you if a CPU can be overclocked. We will tell you if you've got different colored fans in the build already. We won't stop you putting those items in, but at least we can inform you, look, just be aware there's a bit of a clash. And everything that we put in is real world testing. We have warnings on our custom builder that no other custom builder will tell you we will tell you if we know that that motherboard is going to end up throttling a certain cpu because that cpu requires more power and the motherboard doesn't have the power limit to be able to allow that to happen again that comes back to we don't want your customers coming back to you and saying i've bought a four gigahertz processor and it's running at 2.5 and we add new stock every single day and new rules every single day because we are constantly testing everything. So we have one, the custom builder on the target website, but we also have what we call the in-store PC builder, which is a version of the builder that you can rebrand yourself and it is free to all target account holders. You get your own unique URL. You get your own uh, space at the top to put your own banner. You can put your own markups. So you can add whatever you want percentage wise or individual markups, whether you want to do a full percentage on an entire range or you can mark up an individual product by itself. You can design your own builds that you can recall at any point. So if you wanted a home build or an office build or an i3 or a white gaming build, you can design that, store that information. And if someone comes into your shop and says, I am interested in a gaming build, one button, and it pulls all the products back into the builder. Um, you can also use it as a third party warehouse. So you don't have to stock everything. You can literally just have it on your shop floor. And if a customer comes in and says, do you have this graphics card? Or can you get me a case with an RGB lighting system? And they don't like something you've got out on display, pop onto the custom builder, bring the customer along, open the custom builder up, show them what else is available. The products that are on the custom builder are in stock. It's live data, which means that if you order that item, it will be with you within 24 hours or at least the work next working day. And the best thing is you don't need to do anything. All the work is done by target. Every single rule is made by target, every single update, all the images are uploaded, all the rules that we additionally add to the system are all done by us. And it is a full-time job. So again, this saves you having to do the work yourself or employ someone to start building your own custom builder. We've just taken the strain out of absolutely everything. And it's free. So it's, it's a no-brainer. You can't lose even just putting it on the shop floor and letting people play around with it. So I also wanted to show you what's new with the custom builder. A lot of people will uh, will already have this or have seen some of this these slides before. But as I said before, we never stop improving what we have to offer. Everything we do is always based on how can we help the resellers that we have make more money, sell more items. So 
we've uh, we've created a quick builder and this was from feedback that we've had from several customers um it's more to do with schools and businesses where they're not they, they, sometimes the custom builder can be a little bit overbearing when you get 10 different i3s as an option it can be a little bit too much as a school they may just want to come to you and say look i just want a small form factor i3 with eight gigabyte of memory they don't care all the rest of the components. So we've made a simplified version that is, again, it's on the target website. Anyone can use it that has a, uh, an account with us. You select your case, you select your processor, you select the memory, you select your hard drive, you select whether you want Windows on it, tell us how many we want, and it will spit out a price for you. And it will tell, again, all live data. If we don't have enough stock to make an item, it will pop up and say, don't have enough stock, please call us. But if we do, it will spit out a cost for the entire build. So 20 builds, 30 builds, it will spit that cost out. And it's then you can print the quote out for your customer if you so wish. Um, we've also added nooks and bare bones. These seem to be coming very, very popular, especially with uh, some of the processors uh, using a lot of electricity. And as we're aware, the uh, new AMD, uh, sorry, no, New NVIDIA cards were announced yesterday, uh, and uh, we've seen some of the power draw uh, worries from those. Uh, I believe they are listed as being four eight pin connections. So as you can imagine, uh, everyone's gonna be looking for thousand watt power supplies to try and do this. But again, not everybody wants that. Schools, businesses want a small footprint. So we've added, nooks in there so you can add the nook yourself it's also in the in-store pc builder add the nook add the memory add the hard drive and we'll build it and ship it out for you as many as you want uh, as you can see we've put it into the in-store pc builder for everyone and in addition to that we've also added a couple of little icons we do know that quite a few of you will iframe this onto your website so we've added a little helpful hint and tips for end users so that they can clearly see which particular components they are missing to be able to complete a build so if it needs a graphics card the little green light will be on if it doesn't need the green light will re be removed once all those green lights have gone you have a full build you can then just add your accessories to it uh, and last uh, what we've done is we've allowed the quotation so Previously, we'd allowed you to order particular parts from the custom builder, but the quotation always had a, a lock in it to say that you can only quote if it's a full build. We've now removed that restriction. So if you wanted to offer a customer a quote for a single card, a case, anything, that can now be done as a printout from the in-store PC builder that will also include your markup on that printout that you give to the customer. Um, and it's all about allowing you guys to make more money make more profit we do all the hard work for you we've done all the programming we do all the upkeep with it we do all the bios updates the windows if there's no messing about with the windows it's not a case of if you get a laptop or a, a desktop from one of the other brands and you plug it in you're there for 40 minutes while it just does its first update and then it resets itself and then it's two hours for the next update and then it resets itself and you end up having to leave it overnight because it's just going on and on and on. None of that, plug and play. As soon as it's out of that box and you turn that on, it has the latest version of Windows on there and you're off. It's out of box experience as you would get with anything else. Three year warranty in all the builds, like I said before, one call for customer services, built by professionals, for professionals, for every walk of life. And with over 300 trillion configurations available, there's nothing that we cannot build. If you don't see something in the custom builder and you want to challenge us, let us know. We will do that. We will build anything that you want. Um, and uh, my email address is on there. So if anyone wants to contact me, feedback, ideas, any questions about anything that you want, I am more than happy to uh, to speak to anyone in regards to this. And that's the end of the slideshow. That's the boring bit out of the way. Well, 
Well, to be honest with you, you kept us entertained there. I must admit, you got some nice new additions, there, especially the quick builder as well. I had a quick play with that earlier on when I, when you sent over the press release, and uh, I tried to get it to mess up or something along that lines, and well, it did everything it should. So, uh, but I would advise people if you haven't tried this, you actually do give it a go because obviously you don't you don't have to pay for this service, do you, Corey? As in, well, obviously if you're buying a PC, you have to pay the PC, but you don't actually have to subscribe to it or anything like that no subscription costs it is free to all target account holders as long as you have an active target account it is free not only is the custom builder and the quick builder free but the in-store pc builder is free you can put it you see you, you, you can make it your own by putting your own url in there your own images there are spaces in there. Not only can you mark your prices up, but you, there, there are also free type boxes. So even on the printouts, the copies you give to your customer, you've got your own space to write some additional bits of information. So if you want to give an hour's free to, 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 tutorial to customers, you can do that. You can put that in that space and it will print out on every single print. And in the admin section of the custom builder, it stores everything you've done and it can be recalled at any point. That's pretty good, to be honest with you. I was going to say, we used to, um, we've done it both ways, where we've had you to build the actual machines for us in the past, but we've also done it where we build, we spec up the machine on there and just order the parts and build it ourselves. So you've got that option as well, don't you? So if uh, you want to save time, get Target to build it, you can do it that way. Or if for whatever reason you want to do it yourself, you can do. Uh, yeah, we, we, we do know that some people just have a passion for building. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I've said this from the start, our build cost is so cheap. You can make more money whilst not building. It's yeah. just a no-brainer. That's it. And uh, especially the cable uh, cabling on there, cable tidying is uh, amazing, to be honest with you. A few times I've had machines in um, from... Uh, let's say other big brands out there and you look at the cabling on them and you think how the hell did that actually leave their workshop sort of thing but every single one i've seen what target's done in the past the cabling is more ocd than anything to be honest with you it's it's absolutely brilliant you won't get cables sticking out anywhere they're all tied down where they should be and running exactly where they should be actually it's a sight to be old to be honest with you um we'll get to the questions in a few minutes guys but um, i can see them if anyone else does have any questions please make sure you basically send them through and we'll go through them all with Co uh, with Corey as well did you want to do a live demo of the builder? Uh, yes, if we can, uh, if I can just share my screen. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll just show you a couple of things. These are on the Target website. Uh, Let me turn it on. We're ready to share. We are. Yeah, just making sure you didn't have anything up. What we didn't need, like <laughs> uh, yeah, we did. We don't want you getting sacked tomorrow. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah, I don't think it'd last tomorrow. I'm pretty sure he's watching tonight. I'm sure I'd get the text text message before then. Um, so these are the pre-built machines that we have on Target. Um, as you can see, there is a comprehensive amount of builds there from Nooks, gaming builds, standard home stuff, RGB, uh, very small form factor gaming builds, uh, anything with Windows, Office. Yeah, you know, we just offer absolutely everything. CAD builds that we offer. Anything that we have that is on the shelf, you can see the stock situations, you can order that and it will be with you next day. Uh, we have the custom builder. So this is the one on the Target website. Uh, you can save your own builds, recall them at any point, give them a name up there. You can put notes in the file. So if you wanted, uh, for example, if you wanted to order a build, but your end user wanted all the retail boxes, um, you can put that request in. Uh, or if you put uh, I think, um, uh, an LED strip in, it will pop up with a box saying, where would you like the LED strip fitting? If you don't put anything in there, we'll try and fit it to uh, the best of our ability. But we give you that option to say, look, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? It's there. We, we're building on behalf of you. So we want to build it the way you would have built it. Um, I, I just want to show the, the, uh, the quick build. Um, just to give people a quick demo as to how easy this thing is, especially when, like I say, when you've got an office or a school or anything like that, where they just want absolute basic information. Um, so you would just pick the case. Maybe not. Let's try again. So you'd pick the case. What type of process you want? 
how much memory you want, the size of the hard drive, whether you want Windows, we'll not put Windows on this, how many builds you want, and then it instantly tells you how many builds we can do, the price, the individual cost per, per unit, your total price, and then you can order it if you so wish. So if I add that to an order, if anyone's interested and think, well, I'm not quite sure because I don't know what's in that build. What you can do is it from the basket, if you click the blue button, it will take that entire build and put it back into the full builder so you can see the individual components and then add or take away bits as you want. Sounds pretty good. That does. Right, so that was pretty good. So, right, guys, so if you've got any questions, send them through. Corey's here for, well, roughly another half an hour. That's if um, we've got enough questions for him. Uh, so uh, feel free to send them any questions. It doesn't have to be about the custom builder. You could ask him something about Target. You might want to ask him, what's his new boss like? You never know. You might want to ask him, have you got any new products coming out we want to know, or brands? Obviously, it's up to him if he wants to tell you all that. <laughs> but uh, uh, no doubt you've got a few questions. So let's go to the first question or the first statement should we say this is from facebook user um this is one of our favorite tools just one feature i'd really like is the option to export to a csv slash excel smiley face smiley face smiley face um unusual one uh it's something we could look at i'd be interested to know what the reason to export it into an excel file would be um we offer the print service which you would give to your customer. Um, you can also or add it to your basket from the install PC builder uh, and then print from there. But it is something we, we could uh, we could look at doing for you. Um, if you want to send me an email um, directly and sort of, I, I, like I say, I'd be curious as to, to understand what the purpose of that would be. Okay. Um, so next question. Can you build laptops? Ooh, uh, not at this moment, Chris, uh, but um, stay with us. Uh, there is a possibility that something like that might be in the pipeline very soon. Well, I think that's a big hint, that is. Uh, right, okay, let me just put on screen for you guys uh, Corey's email address, just in case you do want to email him. So let me put it there. There you go. So it's Corey.leads at targetcomponents.co.uk if you do want to get hold of Corey. I'll also put Target's website up in a few minutes as well. So, all right, let's go back to the chat. Um, great presentation. Thanks uh, from a Facebook user. We've got Mark asking, I just tested the custom quick builder. I selected all the options, including software, but once it calculated uh, build components and add an order to the basket, says the custom build has no OS selected. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd need to look at that. Um, it was working earlier. Uh, da, 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 da. That's how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, leave that with me. Let me let me do some investigation to see whether that is still an issue. It's still, still an issue. So there we go, Mark. Mark, he'll get back to you on that one. Um, you can always email him if needs be. Uh, right. Okay. So next up, we've got uh, Chris. Is the warranty returned to base, whole unit, or could you send us parts to replace? Um, that is down to yourself, to be honest with you, Chris. If you feel that you have diagnosed the, uh, the, the problem, let's say you've run some software and you're 100% convinced that it's come back uh, and you've got a faulty hard drive, you've got faulty um, sectors on there and you are quite happy to do that, we are more than happy to send you the component to replace. Um, I will say on a couple of occasions, we have had customers that have been convinced it is something we've sent a replacement part out. And then within a couple of weeks, they're back on the phone and said, can we send the unit back? Because it's not what we thought it was. But if you're happy and you feel that you've diagnosed it correctly, we're, we're more than happy to send you the part. 
Okay, that sounds pretty good. I've just put the um, the direct link to the quick PC builder for anyone who does want to find it. But I think you can find it on the Target website. Which section is it under, Corey? If you look for it, if you're on the Target uh, website. Uh, products and then desktops. And then just underneath where the custom builder normally is, you will find the quick build. Yeah, okay. There we go. I just found it there as well. Obviously, you need to be logged in as well. Uh, right, let's have a look at the next question we've got. Uh, what do you program into DMI data? I presume a minimum uh, of the system serial number. Do you have the tool in to customize the UFI logo module if needed? Uh, I, I'm not sure that manufacturers allow you to customize the UFI logo anymore. Um, I haven't seen the ability to do that for quite some time. You used to be able to do it with the very old sort of DOS base. Um, very first sort of you uh bioses but i've not seen anything that's allowed you to change it for quite some time uh but i'd be if you're aware of something i'd be quite happy to uh to look at that um anyone will know peter will know he'll yeah. probably get back to you uh okay he's just replied here here we go you can if you have access to the ami tool apparently Oh, we'll have to try and uh, see if we can get some of those tools. Then I, I, I'm presuming that you're on about getting those directly off the manufacturer. Um, well, we'll get the, we'll get back to whatever it applies yeah. to because there is a bit of a delay. So, um, so let's have a look. So, can you integrate the builder into a Wix website? I'm presuming he's asking, can you make it like an online sales system? From the question, if that's how I'm looking at it, uh, quite possibly yeah um this is something we've looked at for the last couple of years a lot of people i frame this but it is a standalone website it's very difficult from the target side we are very protective of this it is our ip um, it has to stay on our server otherwise the data isn't live as i said you can iframe it but the customer cannot go any further than either generating a quote or just taking a screenshot there is no way it would then integrate back into your own basket however i do know a lot of people have wix woocommerce uh what's the other ones we, we have Copy feeds from yeah. Like yeah um there we've we've looked several times at this uh we do it sporadically there's no one answer there's no one shoe fits all type service here there is a possibility that we could get additional web developers in to be able to do or create the application. So Wix, we'd need a Wix developer. Shopify, we'd need a Shopify developer. WooCommerce, we'd need a WooCommerce developer. The problem with that is there is a massive outlay for Target. And if we go down that road, then it would turn into a subscription service. Now, if enough people do want that, then it's something that we would look at but for full integration into a pre-existing e-commerce system it would be something that we'd have to take offline and then speak to individuals and sort of discuss and see where that lies but there's there's a there would be an underlying cost to that I always find it best just having a link on it to the builder on our website and then basically uh, get the customers to contact us once they've done the build if they are doing it themselves. But generally, we use it as more of a marketing tool to get people into the store, and then you've got more chances of upselling anyway um, when you're doing it that way. So, But, yeah, so something to look into. So, again, if you want to email Corey and you're interested in the, doing that, then his email address is there. So you can only ask. You can only say no so many – well, you can say no forever if you want. <laughs> to but uh, uh but there you go um chris is asking a question i'm not sure what he means there but uh, are the builders mobile friendly as in mobile phone or i believe so so the one on the target website has been specifically changed as you can see there are two different styles the one on the target website is 100 percent mobile friendly it scrolls down the screen and it works in a wizard function which means the most important parts are at the top and as you scroll down you will remove or, or put input the 
uh, the compulsory items. The in-store PC builder, whilst it will work on tablets and mobiles, some, certainly like the flip phones, these, these fold-out ones, it struggles with the screen resolution on those, uh, but it is usable. So I hope that answers your question. I think that does. So thank you for that. Uh, let's have a look. So uh, another question from Blue Bolt PC. Also, can you have multiple margins for different items or is an overall markup? You can either set a markup by everything. So you can add 25, 30, 40, 50% to the entire database. You can set a markup by the individual departments or category headers. So you can have 20% on uh, CPUs, 30% on graphics cards, 10% on uh, memory. Or you can go drill right down to individual lines and set individual markups per line. But we do suggest that you do a markup by category because we add so many products each week and change so many things. But there's not a chance that we could email you every time we had an item because your inbox would just be full and we'd be hit with a spam folder. Um, so please mark up by category. That's it. The way we, we do ours um, is we have a, a, a set markup of a price, if I remember right, we're out looking at it. So it'll be, a, let's just say, off the top of my head, like £80 for the build, and then we have a markup on each of the parts. So, and it's a different markup on each uh, each type of category. So we're obviously CPUs, let's just say a 20%, graphics cards, maybe 15%, and memory, 30%, and card readers and stuff. If you don't want to put in like DVD drives, if there's anyone in the, still does those, you can always put them at 500% to deter people if you really wanted to. <laughs> So make a few quid on a DVD drive. Uh, but, yeah, so you've got the options there. So that's pretty good. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Chris, again, is asking, do you have any all-in-one devices similar to Loop to custom build? Um, we've done some all-in-one devices, and we've had them on the shelf as pre builts uh, I am aware of Loop. It is a conversation we are currently having at the moment. The Loop PCs would fit in the bare bones, which is one of the reasons that we've released the nooks and bare bones and done all the rules now. Uh, so I am pre-prepared for these. It's not. I'm not at a point where I'm signing any agreements yet, but it is definitely something we could look at for you, Chris, if you've got uh, any particular requirements so if you come to me and say i need 50 of these or, or 20 of them and five of them and 10 of them definitely we can we can do that because we can speak to loop directly um but hopefully going forward yes we will have all the one devices available on there as well yeah that's pretty good. If guys haven't seen any of the Loop products before, I suggest having a look. We've done a review of uh, one of their items in the past, and I must admit it was pretty good. Uh, let's have a look. Blue Bolt again. So it looks like we've got Blue Bolt and Chris are uh, really active tonight. Uh, and just checking uh, that our cost price would not be on there so customers can use it. And if the customer custom builds it, they buy straight from a website. Will it automatically place an order on my trade account at target so you've got the two sides so if you logged into the target website that would show you your trade price because you are on the target website if you use the in-store pc builder and you log into the back end and set your markups the customer would only ever see your markup in there is an admin tool to be able to include or exclude VAT, just in case you're doing anything for businesses. So you can print your quotes off with or without VAT. Should you use the in-store PC builder, if the customer clicks the button that says place an order, a pop-up box will appear and you have to put in a password that you set in your admin page. And this stops anything being ordered incorrectly. Nobody wants to have this open on the, a shop floor on a Saturday and have kids come along and put in the biggest build they can, or, you know, I'll put that in because that's the most expensive and that's the most expensive. And the next thing you know, you've received a £4,000 PC on your doorstep and you've got no idea why. So what it does is it will pop up with a window to say, please enter your password. Once that is password has been accepted, the product or the build is then transferred to your 
target Sorry, basket. Uh, when it's in the target basket, it holds all the stock for you for 10 minutes. That gives you 10 minutes in which for you to finish your transaction with your customer. Once you finish that, log into the target website and just press the button to confirm that that is a build that you want to place an order for. The reason for that is if you get your customer to the desk, his credit card fails, you don't want to be ringing us up first thing on a Monday morning saying, I placed an order, I need to cancel it because the customer's card failed. So it's we've put a, a stop in there just so that anyone that is using it on a shop floor get that little bit of confidence that we're not going to start shipping things that they haven't confirmed that they want. That sounds pretty good. It's good to promote the builder as in the service you offer in your store to get people in your store. That way you can upsell stuff you've got in your store as well. So rather than uh, trying to uh, push them to buy everything online, if you get them in the store, you also you generally, if you've got them in the door, you've, you've usually done half of the sale already and you're building the trust and you can obviously advise on a, a better upgrade as well. Am I all right? Okay, you've probably seen it pop up a second ago, uh, Corey, but am I all right sharing my screen just to show my custom builder you can yes yep so this is my custom builder i use which i'm turning on now so let me get rid of this message off the screen so you can see exactly what my customers see if the if they obviously if i obviously we don't have the retail store anymore because obviously we're doing more of them tech for text but if i was to go to a customer's house or office or whatever we'd get the custom builder up like this and then basically and the customer says to us i want a machine what's got a I don't know, um, a 12700 processor. You can just click on the CPU, find the processor. It tells you, obviously, the socket options there. So AM4, 1200, 1700. So you can scroll down. Again, these are my prices, what I sell at. So these are not the prices what Target basically sells them at. So I can choose between the 12700F. You've got the uh, standard 12700, the KF model. So I'm just going to say that model there. And now it's telling me which bits I need to choose. So it's obviously I'm going to go for the motherboard next. So you can go, but you can go for case if you want. Um, you can choose the motherboard which will fit. It'll show you the ones what it doesn't fit basically so it's saying obviously the wrong socket or whatever so if i go for let's just go for this uh, middle of the range b660 uh, and then you can choose memory from there hard drive psu and obviously if, depending on the size of the motherboard you've chose it will then show you which cases that will physically fit in so of them it won't or obviously depending on the cpu uh, airflow restrictions and whatever it'll tell you so if i wanted this big uh, cooler master half case here um there we go you just click on that and then just click on the amount of memory you want so again it'll only show you which ones you want so if i just go for 16 gig let's just say uh, click on there but it does give you the option do you want two lots of those um so you can have multiple same with hard drives, you can choose your NVMe, standard SSDs, M.2 hard drives if you really wanted to. That's obviously showing you what's allowed or not allowed. So, for example, on that SSD, it's basically saying it's that bit small, uh, no bays available for a traditional two and a half inch, where it's saying you can fit a uh, NVMe based one, whatever size you want. As you can see, let, let's go for a Ooh, that's a big one and expensive. Let's go for that one. Four terabyte, 800 quid. Um, so, and then you can, it'll tell you which power supplies it'll work with. So it'll tell you which ones aren't recommended or if they're under wattage. So just click on that. And then you can add in any extras you wanted in. So if you wanted a better cooler, then obviously you can choose whichever cooler and it'll tell you which ones obviously are ideal for that. So let's say that one. And all that stuff fits together. And then you can basically go for a, here we go, our standard bill charges £100. Or if the wanted components are only, we just charge them a tenner uh, for the components only. So we can just give the customer the components. Well, obviously we can get Target to build that or uh we can build it ourselves so that's really up to you obviously uh which route you go down obviously target have their own build time you're in a hurry you want to do it yourself and you might want to get it delivered next day and build it overnight whatever the option is but as you can see there's lots of extras on there so you can choose software obviously make sure you get your genuine genuine windows 11 uh and then you can choose a monitor as well and go from there so there's quite a few different options you can do so uh let's go back to the questions now then i think everyone gets the rough idea of this so let me get that off of that there we go did i explain everything all right for you there corey 
Yes, that was perfect. There you go. That's that's for someone who's been using this tool for <laughs> seven or eight years now. Um, we actually, when we set it up in the in the store, we actually won some Target awards for it back in the day um, because we um, it was the best custom use of the custom builder. Um, we built um, a PC inside, uh, which was it? I think it was the Attack Walker from Star Wars to begin with, and then we did a Millennium Falcon version a few years later, and basically had that running in the PC with a screen attached to it where people could come in and then we had all like gaming peripherals around it and so forth like that to sell a lot of gaming pcs so right okay let's uh enough of me waffling let's go on to the chat so uh we've got we use some other product configurators where it adds the uh, SKUs to the website a shopping basket for the customer to check out i'm not sure who that's from but uh maybe worth a conversation uh if they use another product configurator, I, I'm not quite sure where the question is in there, but I mean, yeah, by all means, yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, if there's something that uh, you're using, I'd, I'd be curious to see it. If you want to email it through to me, uh, I can have a look and see if there's anything that they are doing that we might be able to use. There you go. His email address is on the screen again, just in case you haven't seen it already. So it's corey.leads at targetcomponents.co.uk. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Find the questions again. Um, okay. Uh, there are feeds for Wix, and I have PC Builder on my website. I'm guessing that's a follow up to that previous statement. Possibly. Uh, yeah. As I said before, yeah, like, sure. yeah, if, if we were to look at these e-commerce things, the, it, it may go down the route of uh, a, a subscription service. But if enough people are interested in that and are willing to pay for that, I'm happy to look at it. Yeah, it's an it's an option for you. Um, so next from Canny Clever IT Services Centres, uh, would Target consider building a touchscreen kiosk type machine we could all put in our stores for customers to use directly? Uh, evening, Ken. Um, Touchscreen kiosk type. Oh, I, I believe I know what he's talking about. Uh, this is, uh, I am currently talking to a Far East company that produce, uh, how would you describe this? It's like a 49 inch vertical screen that is touchscreen, but it's encased inside a, a stand and the stand can also be branded. Um, so it is something we are looking at. It's a very, very expensive piece of kit. Oh, their, their initial approach to us made it a very expensive piece of kit. Um, and it's also a very big piece of kit, which means shipping would be extortionate for us. But it is something we are looking at. Um, if we can get, uh, and we are talking to some of the other vendors, some brands, if we can get some dual branding and hopefully get some of these funded, then yes, there would be a an opportunity there. Okay, sounds pretty good. Obviously, you can make your own touchscreen display and so forth. Well, not make this display, but buy one and plug it in. But yeah, a kiosk, a bit like you got at Argos, would probably be a good idea or something yeah. like that. But for 49 inch, that's uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot of room up, that is. <laughs> mm. It is, right. but we've started selling, or we're about to start selling some whiteboards, which are... Uh, mainly for schools, interactive whiteboards that you can draw on and uh, do slideshows. That sort of thing could well work for a lot of customers because it is touchscreen. Um, you can drag and drop on it as well. By the looks of it, he's wanting something a little bit smaller, uh, according to that, so more similar to a slimmed-down EPOS system. Uh, then that might come under the, the Loop stuff. If Loop do a touchscreen monitor uh, that we could put something in, uh something like that may be doable but i'll speak to loop in regards to that yeah that's a good one so we've got rich next the reason for the csv export okay he must have been facebook earlier earlier on so the reason for the csv export would be more for us to import a full spec etc into our crm or into our account package uh, to add the parts into stock etc Ah, so this is a stock thing. So he needs to generate the part to be able to create the stock thing. Um, give me an email, Rich, uh, either tomorrow or next week, uh, and I'll see what options we've got in regards to that. Maybe we can put an API in the back end that just fires the data straight into yours rather than you having to export a document. 
that would probably be an easier way of doing it. Okay, sounds pretty good. Um, okay, so Chris is wanting to know, can you build machines with RAID? Is that hardware RAID or software RAID, Chris? Um, can we build them? Yes, if you put the notes. If it's software RAID, which most motherboards have on them right now for um, end users, not a problem. If you put in the notes, uh, I've put four hard drives in, please RAID this up to RAID 0, RAID 1. We'll do it for you. As long as we know what we're doing, we're quite happy. We, we build some what you would call unusual machines where the the smaller hard drive is used as a backup drive and the larger M.2 is used as the main drive, which is counterintuitive to what we would normally do. But we have customers that do want that and they just put notes in the file just to say, please do it this way. Happy to do that for you. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Right, we've got another Facebook user. Uh, am I correct in saying you need to have a credit account with Target to have PC Builder to work slash order? If I have a payment card on file, would that allow PC Builder to process the order status? Uh, you just have to have an active account to be able to use the PC Builder. As I said before, once you've placed that order from the in-store version, it would just go into your basket, give you 10 minutes to complete your sale, and then you would log into the Target website as you would for anything else, and then you can complete that basket. So as you go through your basket stage, it would just ask you your credit card details again, as if you'd bought the items just by logging onto the Target website. So no, you don't need a credit account as long as you have an active account. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Right, guys, we're getting towards the end of the show. It's nearly been an hour already, surprisingly. If you have got any last-minute questions, send them in quickly, and we'll uh, get them answered as quick as possible. Uh, Chris did say hardware raid. Uh, yes, we can. Obviously, additional card, but yes, we can do that for you. There you go. So that's pretty good. And Rich says, cheers. That's why I love Target. You're always open to suggestions. There you go. Um, well, if you want it, pretty sure someone else also wants it. So mm -hmm. if we can build it for you uh, and have it available for other people, that, that's what we need to do. You know, we are not successful unless you are successful. It's as simple as that. We try to do everything to make sure you make as much money as possible, because if we give you the tools, uh, then we, our, th our theory in this is, we give you all the tools to be able to do your business uh, in an easier way for you to make more money, then you will come back and hopefully honor us with that spend, shall we say. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh, Mark Dennis is saying, going back to his question, it seems the Windows software I chose was out of stock, i.e. Windows 11, but it would be good if it was flagged up in the builder. Uh, uh, right, okay. So you just want it to allow you to or flag up to say, why are we out of Windows 11? That would be more concerning. Let me find out why we're out of Windows 11. That's more concerning than, than the fact it didn't flag up. Um, the, the, yeah, builder is yeah. the, the builder is designed. It is live data. So maybe someone just came along this afternoon and wiped us out of everything. Uh, we try to keep a, a, a decent amount of stock of all these things. Um, we can never predict it you know yourself all working in retail someone comes in you you've got a stock of something that you think is going to last you a, a year or so someone comes in and wipes you out in one afternoon um so I, i'll try and find out why it was the windows 11 that was causing an issue that's a nice one facebook users also saying thank you corey so uh mark saying quick builder screen i mean i'm not sure what he means about that one if i miss i think one. he just wants an alert on the screen that says oh, which bits right. is out of the stock off, yeah. yeah we'll the look load. we'll look at putting some sort of alert in there uh good question from peter is is it possible to filter out certain brands if we were to use a, a customer facing we won't want to offer brands we do not partner with um, there's no way to filter brands, Peter, because we have to be fair to all our brands. Um, I do know that some brands are brands that you wouldn't want to support. But as we as a distributor, we have to be fair to each and all our brands. What I would say to you is there is a, a roundabout way of doing this. If you were to over mark up the particular brands that you didn't want in your admin section, they would be moved to the bottom of the page 
and therefore very likely to be uns to be seen by anyone. So that's a way around with it. But from Target's point of view, we have to be fair to all our vendors, just the same as we're fair to all our resellers. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, so we've got a uh, Facebook user, whoever it is, saying, thanks, Corey, sent you an email. Um, Mark saying, yes, I agree on something. Um, I'm guessing that was the Windows bit. Um, and Chris wants to know, out of interest, how does? Okay, okay, he's done a second <laughs> one. Here we go. <laughs> out of interest, how does building compare to buying branded kits such as HP, Dell, etc.? Is the uh, is there better profits for us, basically? Oh, definitely. We we are underpriced in regard to the likes of HP, Dell, etc. The other thing is, um, with Dell, once it breaks, you have to go back to Dell and get a component, and that's if they've got the component. If you buy it from Target, the products that we use are all branded items. So uh, Kingston for the memory, uh, Patriot, that sort of thing. Products that you know you will be able to get for years to come. DDR4 memory is now, what are we on, five years for DDR4? Um, Getting on there, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So you will always be able to upgrade these items or replace an item. And we, like I said before, we give you a three-year warranty. So within that three years, the average turnaround, according to um, statistics, the average turnaround, which is I think is based on business, is a three-year life cycle on these things, which is why we put a three-year warranty on it. Hopefully, by the time it comes to the end of its warranty, you have the ability to ring your customer up and say, your warranty is now expired. Do you believe it's now time to change your product? Yeah. It's a pretty good one. Regarding the three year warranty as well, um, for people who are watching, is that's a good selling point to sell to your own customers is giving them a three year warranty in with the product. If you're getting three year warranty from Target, why not pass that on to your customer? It's a big selling point. Not many places give you a three year warranty for a PC. Obviously there's bits and bobs which uh, you may want not want to support like they're getting viruses and stuff like that but uh, uh, but for the, like the hardware and stuff like that if target's going to cover it why not cover it yourselves via the customer and shout about it hey so and so only gives you a one year whether it's dell hp or whoever it is we give you three years um it's definitely something to shout about and um, on about competition um from personal use we've had a lot of people coming in okay there's always exceptions to every rule some have discounts sales and whatever but in general i'd say around about 95 percent of the time we can usually give a better price uh than what someone's been quoted elsewhere whether it's uh hp dell or some of these other custom builder system builders that what are on the market, the big ones, what you all know about. Right. So, hey, uh, looks like someone likes you, Corey. Uh, Corey is a legend. <laughs> I haven't ordered lots, but when I have um, needed it, Corey and Target have been so helpful. Thanks you at uh, Reader, is that technology? So, there you go. Thanks, so, Ed. The uh, check's in the post. <laughs> That's it. So, uh, we, he's been waiting for that all through the show for someone <laughs> to say that. Uh, right. So, this seems to be the last question. Um, let's have a look. If uh, the 10 minutes has expired, but the customer comes back and wants, uh, wants that, is there a way of getting that build up again, or would um, you have to redo it, e.g., is there a copy? Uh, no, everything's stored as a copy. So if you have in the in-store PC builder, it's stored in the admin section and you would be able to log into your URL slash admin, put your password in, scroll to the bottom of the page. There's a button there that says um, history or basket. Click into there and it will bring up absolutely everything you've ever done, whether you've done it as a quote, whether you anything you've saved in there, quote, builds, uh, components anything and you can recall it directly from there alternatively if it's in the target basket as i showed before if you press press the little blue line that just says uh, sb cus build that will put everything from the basket back into the builder and then you can mess around change things around and resubmit it if you so wish yeah that's pretty good and also going back in the custom builder as well if you do so if stuff goes out of stock in the meantime when you reload the build it'll tell you what's out of stock and then you can choose different parts as well so yeah we've had that quite a few times where people have uh, 
done a quote, we've given them a quote, and then they come back like two, three weeks later, which obviously prices and everything change, but it will obviously show you the new prices and if parts are out of stock and so forth, So that which is pretty good. Uh, a few last questions. Sorry to keep you, Corey. We've got, right. uh, can you assist tag items without branding? Uh, ask, sorry, can we can asset, asset tag? tag. Uh, yeah, um, yes, we can. If it's a sticker, that sort of thing, yes, we've got no problems. I said, putting a sticker on the top of a build, on the side of a build, is no different from us putting a, a Windows COA on it. So, yes, we can asset tag anything you want. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, Facebook users were saying, great show. Uh, we've got uh, last question. Hello, I have a 10, uh, sorry, 1,200 euros budget. I'm thinking about buying a PC. Uh, is it a good price for it? And right, okay. I would suggest, uh, Sam, that you would talk to your local independent trader wherever you are. That's probably going to be a best bet. Um, this is more of a trade show than consumer based, but uh, uh, the twelve four hundred F is a decent, um, a, a decent system with a thirty sixty. Again, every country's got slightly different prices at the moment, especially with everything going off. So it'd be hard for us to uh, verify that. But I would suggest going to see your local independent trader whoever that may be um and facebook users asking would you recommend any asset supply uh, uh, sorry asset supplies or software um i personally wouldn't recommend any um there will be plenty out there i believe this is it's like a logo it's something that you really need to uh consider what it is that you want and then deal with a dedicated supplier in regards to that but we're quite happy. If from our end, we will stick any sticker on, any logo on that you want. If you send us an ISO file that you want dropping on any of your products, we will do that for you. That's brilliant. And no problem, Samet as well. He's just saying thank you for the advice. Right, guys, I think that's pretty much the end of the show then. So, Corey, is there anything you would like to add before we finish? Uh, no, I'd just like to thank everyone for uh, coming out tonight. I know it, it eats into a lot of people's own personal time. So uh, it's fantastic to see so many people interested in this product that we have. Like I say, it is free of charge. Um, come along, play around, just sign up for it, put it in there. Even if you use it as a training tool for your own staff, it is such a fantastic thing. We will constantly and completely keep up with this. This isn't a project that we've just, that, you know, fly by night you know we're going to give it up in any way shape or form we'll continue improving getting feedback from everybody um like i say my email's there send me any ideas that you have anything that you think might improve the system um keep doing that and uh, just keep your eyes peeled with target there's a lot of new things happening uh, we're now a, 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 a very proud EOT. So all our staff are very proud owners of our own business. Um, there isn't a person inside Target that wouldn't happily speak to anybody that's been on tonight or any of our customers that want to ring up for any reason whatsoever. We do have people turn up on the door just for chinwags. Um, just we, we, we're human the same as you all. Come along, speak to us. Any ideas you've got, throw at us and just keep an eye on Target. There are a lot of big changes coming soon. That sounds pretty good. Right, guys, before you all disappear, uh, if you haven't heard, TechMax is happening again next year, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, on the 23rd of June, that's 2023. Uh, the website's tftmax.com, so if you go there, you can purchase your tickets. I would suggest you purchase some quick. Evening tickets have already sold out, so they sold out pretty quickly within the week of actually posting them. Uh, but we do have standard daytime tickets, which allows you access to all the vendors. There's going to be 120 stands there. There's going to be around about 800 plus of you there. There, so you're going to have plenty of people to interact with. You're going to see the guys, well, fingers crossed, at Target Components there. Uh, they've said they're coming. They haven't signed anything yet, So, but we'll, I'll make sure I, uh, I get some pennies off for them and get a contract signed up for them. Um, so we'll see, be seeing them there. But there's all, also lots of other distributors, vendors. We're going to have demos. We're going to have talks. We're going to have all sorts 
going off. There's even going to be an interactive area as well there uh, with gaming rigs, and there might be even a few little surprises along the way. And we've also got awards going off at the event as well. Uh, but again, that's for only the evening ticket holders, and there may be one or two reserved for anyone who does actually make it to the finalists uh, uh, section who hasn't got a ticket. But uh, uh, if you're interested in that, again, that's tftmax.com. Uh, just a few pictures of the actual venue, just to give you a rough idea what it actually looks like. It's at Magna in Sheffield slash Rotherham. It's sort of on the border. It's near Meadowall, basically. If you know where Meadowall is, it's near enough next door to that. Uh, it's a huge place, old steel works. Um, so it's absolutely huge. If you went to Tech Max this year, uh, the main room is about four times bigger not than the main room this year, but the whole of the area we actually rented out less uh, this year already. So it's uh, it's huge. It's like 4,000 square meters or something like that. Um, so it's a huge place. Gives you an idea of the size of it, the amount of people will be able to fit in there. It's going to be an absolutely brilliant show, but I would advise if you're wanting tickets, I know it's still nine months away, but it's very popular. Last year, we sold out well in advance of the actual event. So uh, I would suggest you actually get some tickets if you are interested. But that gives you an idea of the huge size of the place anyway. So, But otherwise, we do have a show next week as well. So 8 p.m., it's retro night. So we're going to have Ben Ashcroft on and his gang of Amiga fans probably and a few other retro fans and stuff like that. Um, he's probably going to have a few people on with him. He has sent me a message just before we went live. I haven't checked to see who's going to be on with him yet. But again, I'm pretty sure I think Peter Whitehouse was one. I'm not sure if Will Murr is one or not. Uh, I think Paul Webb might be as well. But I might have those names mixed up. But, uh, but again... That is next week. That's Thursday, 8 p.m. We do a show every Thursday at 8 p.m. So make sure you tune in and take part. And if you guys are attending the uh, PCR Awards next week, I think it's on Tuesday night, we'll see you there as well. So feel free to give us a wave and say hi if you are attending. So again, thank you, Corey, for joining us. Uh, it's been a, a good show as always with you guys. And again, even though I've endorse this product and so forth no money's changed hands here uh this show is totally free for vendors and distributors to take part so basically what i've said is my actual own thoughts and it is a tool we use and as i said at the beginning of the show made a few pennies from let's put it that way so right guys we'll see you all next week thanks for watching and make sure you check out target's new quick builder and the custom builder if you haven't already so Goodbye, everyone, and we'll see you next time.